Today we're going to talk about chainsaw sharpening. And then we're going to delve into a little bit of safety and stick around to the end and we got some bonus tips for you. Safety measures. First, let's talk about why chainsaw sharpening is so important. It makes your work easier, but it's also safer. So you can get a chainsaw sharper than what you bought it? Yeah, or at least cutting better. See, what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the rakers down. This is your tooth right here. That's the raker. This controls your depth of cut. And what I'm doing is, you can see a little shiny spot there. I'm grinding off a little bit of the tip here so that we get a little bit deeper cut. You lower this down, then the tooth is able to get a better bite on the wood. If you go down too far, your saw, your teeth will literally catch and get stuck and your saw can't cut. But if you pull it down a little farther, then it will cut a little better, a little deeper. It'd be a little more aggressive. Now here we have some close-ups of Kendall using a flat file to take down the height of the rakers on his chainsaw. He sprinkles in some tips while showing us correct procedures and angles. So as you sharpen your tooth, <laughs> all right, so as you sharpen your tooth, it, this gets a little shorter. You can see there's a bevel on this tooth. It gets shorter the more you sharpen it. So, but the raker would stay the same height. So what you do is you grind a little bit off the raker and that way you'll get a better cut or a deeper cut per tooth. So I'm just gonna go, you can only go one side at a time and I go one single pass. You're trying to get everything nice and uniform so that your saw cuts good. And it doesn't take much. That little tiny bit I'm taking off will greatly change the way this chain cuts. Yeah, Buck and Billy Ray's probably covered all of this. I don't know who that is, but good for him. Okay, so that's one side. I'm gonna go around the other side now. You wanna go kind of with the bevel on the, the each teeth kind of have a bevel, right? You don't wanna go against it. It'll pull the file into it. Go with it here. And if you have any tips and tricks on sharpening chainsaws, let me know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. Oh, you can see a difference on the camera. Yep. You can see it. All right. So now, that raker is definitely shorter than the tooth. But it's not all about chainsaw sharpening. Safety is number one here at K&J Lumber. That's the number one tip. Don't so let's find out what Kendall has to say about safety. What safety measures do you recommend when using a chainsaw to cut logs? Make sure you know how to operate your chainsaw. Make sure the chain brake's functioning properly. Um, stay away from cutting with the tip of your bar because that can very prone to kickback. Don't run your chain into the dirt. Don't do that. Don't do that. No, the dirt is That's the number one tip. Don't run your chain into the dirt. You need to speak louder because there's a saw in the background. Safety glasses and hearing protection is a good idea because everything's noisy. <laughs> and as I promised, here's a few bonus tips that Kendall has for us. And don't forget, we're giving away this cutting board once we reach a thousand subscribers. All right, when I'm sharpening a chain, I always paint a tooth a color so then I know where I started and stopped. When you're using a round file, you want to be straight and you want to follow the correct angle. I actually already sharpened this chain, so I don't want to do it. But you'd set the file in and you'd run it across a full stroke. A lot of times I'll do two strokes if I'm just touching up a chain. I might do one. If it really needs a lot of work, I might do four. But I always try and do equal, the same amount of strokes per tooth each side. So if it's two strokes on this side, when I go around and sharpen this way, it's gonna be two strokes on that side. We mentioned Buck and Billy Ray. He's a professional logger. When sharpening chainsaws, he says, always get the gullet. What do you think that means? Now, if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and share with fellow lumber lovers like yourself, and subscribe for more sawmill secrets and tips. The gullet's the bottom here, but you have to be careful, because if you go too deep, you get too much of a, you get a nice, really flat surface on the top here. You actually want like a certain degree. You know, you want your tooth to be like this. You don't want it to be like that. 
you want to have a tooth cut kind of like this. So if you get your file down too deep, you'll have problems. You tip your tooth will roll over, or what they call a hawk's beak, where it kind of bends down like this. And then as that's trying to go into the wood, it doesn't cut. You want a nice sharp point to cut and then pull the wood out. So, so click this button to subscribe to our channel. And YouTube thinks that you'd like this video next.